We were first diagnosed in January of uh, 2005. You know, I was, I, I was relatively strong. I thought I was tough. But uh, when I came up against this, I knew that uh, I certainly couldn't do this alone. Well, most traditional cancer therapies that most people would think about are chemotherapies. They're uh, poisons in some way. They kill cancer cells, and the hope is that they'll kill cancer cells to a greater degree without harming normal tissue as much. What we're using is a type of therapy that invokes the person's own immune system to target and kill the cancer. We're finding that pretty much any cancer can be responsive to the immune system if you can activate the immune system or reduce the suppression that the cancer can cause against the immune system, perhaps any cancer might be applicable to immunotherapy. This is where cancer research is vital. The treatments we had available at the time weren't particularly personalized, were particularly toxic, and um, were treatments that have been around for many years, actually. Oh, hungry. Of course we're hungry. Always hungry. This is another spoiled baby right there. It was hard for me to deal with this to start off with, you know. And and through the clinical trials, I felt like that if if they could get to, you know, maybe uh, find something positive with the, with the treatments, you know, I always had that attitude. Had, had faith in it that it would help. But on the other hand, if it didn't, it's the possibility that it could help someone else. But for many of the new therapies and development that are coming along so rapidly, we're still in very early phases. And we don't know a lot about those treatments. So that uh, people like Mr. Upchurch also are um, really pioneers. And without them, we wouldn't be able to learn about these newest therapies in their, in their infancy. So we are, are really thank them for their willingness to participate where there are many unknowns, but the promise is there. Has your worldview changed since <coughs> your cancer diagnosis? Do you see things differently? Do you feel things differently? Oh, yeah. Uh, you see everything differently. Your whole life changes. When you go outside and get a breath of fresh air, you see the leaves and the trees and the grass and the flowers and uh, all of God's creation. You're just so thankful for another day.